Hi, welcome to this tutorial on finding the gradient of a straight line. Now gradient is a measure of how much you increase or decrease the y value for every one unit you increase x. And let me explain. I mean here we've got a line AB and you'll notice that for every one unit across, that is one unit increase in x, the y value increases by two units. We go one unit across and the y value increases by two units. One unit across, y value increases again by two units. And we talk of this as having a gradient of two. So we'll just mark that in that the gradient of AB is two. Let's have a look at another line. Now in this next line, CD, you'll notice that it's going downwards. For every one unit across in the x direction, the y value drops by one, two, three units. We go one unit across in the x direction and the y value drops again by one, two, three units. So for every one unit across, y decreases by three units. So we talk about the gradient of CD as being negative three. We're losing three units in the y value for every one unit gained in x. Let's have a look at another line. This time this line EF is horizontal. Now for horizontal lines there is no gain in the y value or loss in the y value for every unit we move across in the x direction. So we talk about the gradient of EF as being zero. And the other type of line we can get is a vertical line. And the gradient of a vertical line is classified as being undefined. So we'll mark that in as the gradient of GH is undefined. Now there's a formula for working out the gradient between two points. And that formula is that the gradient equals the difference in the y values divided by the difference in the x values. So let me demonstrate. Suppose for instance we take the coordinates of A and B. We've got A has coordinates 1 minus 3 and B has coordinates of 4 across 3 up. So if we stick to the formula the gradient of AB, let's just put grad for short, okay, grad of AB will equal the difference in the y coordinates. So if I start say with this coordinate here, 3, then I have to subtract this y coordinate. I have to do 3 minus minus 3. And that is divided by the difference in the x coordinates. Now I started with the b coordinate, so I've got to start with the 4 here. So it would be 4 minus this x coordinate for a minus 1. So we have 3 minus minus 3 which is 6 and 4 take away 1 is 3 and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So the gradient of AB is 2 and that agrees with what we observed up here. I'm quite often asked does it matter which way round you do the subtraction for the coordinates? Well let's just try and see. Suppose I look at the gradient of AB again. Remember for this example I started with this y coordinate of 3. Let's start with this y coordinate. So the gradient would be the difference in the y coordinate so that would be minus 3 minus the other y coordinate which would be 3 all divided by the difference in the x-coordinate, so it would be 1 minus 4, 1 minus 4. So what do we have? 
minus 3 minus another 3 is minus 6, all divided by 1 take away 4, which is minus 3. Minus 6 divided by minus 3 is clearly 2. So it doesn't matter which way round you do the subtraction, as long as you keep the order correct. Now let's look at another line, CD, and work out its gradient by calculation. The coordinates of C are minus 4, 4, so pop that in, minus 4, 4. And the coordinates of D are minus 2, minus 2. So if we're working out the gradient of this, the gradient of CD is going to equal the difference in the y coordinate, so if I do 4 minus minus 2, all divided by the difference in the x coordinates, so that will be minus 4 minus minus 2, minus 4 minus minus 2. So 4 minus minus 2 is 6, all divided by minus 4 plus 2, that becomes minus 2, and 6 divided by minus 2 is minus 3. So you can see that we got the gradient of CD as minus 3, which agrees with what we observed. OK, let's move on and have a look at EF. We observed that the gradient was 0, but does it check out with the formula? We've got the coordinates of E. E has coordinates of minus 2, 3. And F has coordinates of 3, 3. So we've got 3, 3. So if we stick to the formula again, the gradient of EF equals the difference in the Y coordinates, so that's 3 minus 3, all divided by the difference in the X coordinates, minus 2, minus 3. Now, 3 minus 3 is 0 divided by minus 5. 0 divided by minus 5 is 0. So that's looking good. It agrees with the observed value here. Now what about GH, which I said was undefined? Well, let's just work that one out. The coordinates of G are 4 minus 4. And the coordinates of H are 4, 1. So by the formula, the gradient then of GH will equal the difference in the Y coordinates, which would be minus 4, minus 1. All divided by the difference in the X coordinates, which would be 4, minus 4. And the top comes to minus 5, but the bottom comes to 0. 4 take away 4, 0. Now if you divide anything by 0, it is undefined. So we have an undefined result for the gradient of a vertical line. OK, well that brings me now to the end of this tutorial on finding the gradient of a straight line. I would encourage you to remember the formula here so that you can apply it when you're given coordinates so that you do not need to resort to just drawing the diagram.